What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play of CJ. Tonight we're going to talk about the uh, five games just mentioned in the NHL. Handed down to Duncan Keith for his uh, elbow to the head of Daniel Sedin. Um, you know, I've always been pretty hot on Vancouver. Uh, you know, for the last almost year on the show due to the team's actions or lack thereof during the Stanley Cup Finals last year. But, um, you know, it warranted it. You know, I, I don't think you can go out there and I go head hunting on a player like Sedin. You know, I, I know I make the cut of Sedin joke and all that stuff, but... Um, you know, it's not right uh, what Keith did. And, you know, um, at that time, Daniel was in a very vulnerable situation looking for a puck that was kind of up in the air. And, uh, you know, the uh, NHL made the right call suspending Duncan Keith for the five games. Duncan Keith isn't a headhunter. He's not that kind of a player. But at the same time, player safety has to be of the utmost concern in the National Hockey League. Uh, you know, you're trying to avoid violence in the National Hockey League. Well, and that's it. You know, I know um, Sadine ran him earlier in the game. But I do, I think, it was poetic justice. Yes and no. You know, if you want to go out and go an eye for an eye, fight someone. Not that the kind of teams have dropped the puck, drop the gloves, excuse me. But, um, you know, you fight them. You don't elbow someone in the head. There's no place to in hockey. And I'm saying this is someone, I'm saying this is someone that despises the Vancouver Canucks and the way they play the game. Um, you know, you don't want to see anyone leave the ice like that. And, uh, you know, Sedin hasn't had his status ruled upon yet, so we'll see how it all breaks down. But, uh, you know, I hope he comes back to, to the league. You know, like I said, I know I've said a lot of bad things about Vancouver. Uh, over the last few months, but I, I know way, shape, or form one of the one of the Sedin's hurt for a long extended period of time. I think not only for them as people, but as a fan of the game of hockey, you know, one of the most skilled players in the game is taken out. Uh, you know, it's not something you want to see. So, you know, I hope he gets better soon and can help Vancouver. Um, you know, going forward. Um, but like I said, you know, Duncan Keith isn't a headhunter. That's not how he plays the game. But at the same time, the NHL has to. Uh, keep safety at the forefront, and you got to take hits from that. Hits like that out. Um, you know, like I said, could it have been a retaliatory hit from the from the incident earlier in the game? Yeah, Keith denies it, but you know, who, who who's you can't shoot a shitter. You know, Shanahan's been around the block a time or two. A uh, guy that's uh, earned his fair share of penalty minutes, kind of like me. Uh, not as good though. Not the I had the fifty goal seasons to go with it, but you know, Shanahan made the right call. He absolutely made the right call. And I hope going forward that these hits to the head, these elbows to the head, can take out of hockey because they have no place in the game. Um, you know, you really lose. Well, you lose a lot, and uh, you know we don't want to see a, a highly skilled player like Sedin have to miss uh, any more time than uh, than he has. So, you know, he's gonna be key to Vancouver, possibly repeating his conference uh, champions, and maybe more aggressively win the Stanley Cup, depending upon the long go and uh, how he shits the bed. And I was I was watching the games. I'm a, I love that rivalry. I love the Blackhawks Vancouver rivalry. That's one of the best rivalries in, in hockey, uh, probably the best non-divisional rivalry. I think Boston and Philly, the Bees and the Flyers are probably up there too. But, you know, there's going to be violence in that kind of a playoff series. But, yeah, you don't want to see that. So hopefully uh, Keith learns this lesson and both teams can meet up again and have another classic series this year. As they have each of the last three playoff years and hit all, all three were thrillers, um, all three series. So uh, that's it for this episode of the Power Players, CJ, on the five-game suspension. Uh, Brennan Shanahan handed down, and Brennan Shanahan and the NHL disciplinary uh, committee handed down a uh, Chicago Blackhawks defensive with Duncan Keith for his elbow to the head of uh, Vancouver Canucks winger Daniel Sedin. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later, guys.